Yo, what's up guys and welcome to the next part of the Sun and Moon Road to Top 10 in OU. I, of course, am PokeyMMD and today we're going to be using a team that my boy Blunder actually passed me um, with Static Zapdos, nice Choice Scarf Garchomp, just something pretty standard but solid. Uh, SD Fighting MZ Blue, I actually haven't used this in a while, I used Grassy MZ a lot recently. Uh, Choice Specs Battle Bond Ninja, Substitute Magmastorm Heat Ram, and then Defog Mega Scizor. So, Pretty standard, but it should get the job done. Uh, we are actually currently, I haven't played any games since last time. I'm out of decayed a bit. We are 1941, number 33 on the ladder. So we are on that climb. Top 10 is over 60 points away. So we'll see if we can get it this episode. Hopefully we can get some good games though. That is what I want. And I want some nice hacks free games and I want some games that I win. <laughs> but thank you everybody for the continued support on this. If you guys didn't know, I did start the uh, road to top 10 in UU as well. So you guys can go ahead and check out episode 1. That'll be in the um, the end screen as well as the well, the outro is what it's actually called. It'll be in the outro as well as obviously on my channel on a playlist. And uh, another thing, I don't know if it'll be up by the time this goes up, but Gator and I did record the finale of the Soul Link. And that's going to be solely on Gator's channel. So if you guys want to check that out, uh, youtube.com slash it's gator i'm not sure if that'll be up the same day as this i'm gonna do my best to edit that i haven't gotten uh the we just finished recording the episode it was great by the way no spoilers but the episode was great um and it, it, yeah it was just really good i do encourage you to check that out but we have some variation of stall that is extremely weak to sd bulu but he does have crobat very weak to greninja rather not sd bulu but greninja and I think that my Zapdos 6-0 is him. <laughs> so I want to leave off a Scizor, because if he leaves off a Sableye, I can just, uh... He could knock me off immediately, I suppose. Do I even... I don't, I don't even care if he does that. I'm just going to Mega Evolve a new turn. I want to scout to see if he knocks off. Because if he just goes right for the Mega and decides to fake me out, which is fine, uh, I get in... Well, I can't believe he actually has Fake Out over anything else. Uh, basically, I don't want him. I don't have default on this thing? Wow. I'm not getting a Brox versus him either. He has Defog on this Mon, so. What I don't want is him to burn or to knock off my Heat Ram. So I'll actually, uh. I'll actually. I can't believe he has Fake Out on a team where Lele. Or in a metagame where Lele is. Uh, what I'll actually do is U turn out into my Heat Ram. And uh, this matches up pretty well versus the Sableye because he's forced to go for Recover and I can go right for the Substitute right here. Uh, assuming, I don't know if he want to stay in, but yeah, he goes right for uh, Recover right there. So he could actually Recover stall me if he wants to. Uh, the main reason I subbed up as well and I'm scared to attack is because Toxpex could have a Jet button. So we'll go for Magma Storm and unfortunately miss our first one. That's nice. As unfortunately this Heat Run doesn't have enough to be able to take on Sableye. And I do want to sub up again. Uh, mainly because I don't want him going Toxapex and having that eject button. I hate that I have to play this way versus this, but I think this is what I have to do. Um, the great thing is that Sable, uh, Zapdos does 6-0, so maybe getting off damage is the play. Maybe getting off damage is the play. Um, especially because if Magma Storm can continue to crit or whatnot, it does a lot. So, we'll go Bulu here. It does give him Crobat as a switch in. I'm not sure if he'd stay in. He should go Crobat, to be honest, and Brave Bird me. I'm going to double out to my Heat right here. I expect him to want to go Crobat. I guess he can knock me off or Will-O-Wisp. Either way, I get Grassy Terrain Recovery, which is what I want, and which helps out my Heat Ran. I don't know. This like this team is really weak to Zapdos. His team is really weak to Zapdos, but the Sableye is going to be annoying. Ops to go directly into Toxapex. I do have Defog on Scissor, which is what I'm saying, yeah. So... I don't want him going out into Duck Trio. We're just gonna Magma Storm immediately. I don't want him going Duck Trio. And if he goes Sableye, that's fine too. Can I hit? Can I actually hit? Like, please? That'd be nice. Uh, at least wasting recovers would be nice. Since Sableye does have limited turns of recovery. I don't even know if he's. Uh, he obviously can switch out because, you know, he's part ghost, so ghost types are not trapped this generation. But. Or every, any generation for the past couple generations. Uh, but I can at least go for Earth Power and try and weaken his Spadef a little bit while getting the last turn of Grassy Terrain, Recovery, and then proceed to go Bulu and then go back out to Heat Ran uh, if he wants to click spam or keep spamming Knock Off. I'll get Recovery. I doubt he'd Will-O-Wisp. 
because Heatran's such a threat to him. He actually does opt to go for will o so very good play on my opponent's part. Um, not what I definitely expected. Oh, I'm Leech Seed on this. Didn't even realize that, so we're just going to go for SD. We're going to go for SD here, and if he wants to go Crobat, I, I the great thing is because my Bulu is actually SD Leech Seed, I can beat his Shedinja 1v1. I can beat Shedinja 1v1. I guess he could try and trap me. He could try and trap me right now. I'll go Garchomp. I don't want. I don't care if he U-turns. I can't go here and have him uh, go for an attack as he actually goes for Super Sonic Sky Strike. So uh, nice. Doesn't do too much to me. This is one of the things stopping my. I didn't realize I was SD Leech Seed. I wouldn't have played it that way. Uh, this is one of the things stopping me. So I'll actually outrage here, just in case he wants to Brave Bird. He can always Defog. Uh, he could also go out into Shedinja. Or excuse me, not Shedinja. He could also go out into Sableye here. I think my SD Bulu can win. I really wish I knew I realized I was Leech Seed first. That was my bad for not paying attention because if I would have known that, I would have prioritized getting rid of Crobat and then trying to win with this Mon. But maybe I should just try and burn Seismic Toad. Anyway, we're gonna Outrage here. Hope for the best. Uh, ideally, he stays in, I outrage crit him, and then he goes for U-turn and takes rough skin damage and dies. So then I get rid of his Bulu answer. <laughs> That'd be amazing. If he does go hard, Sableye, which is also a pretty decent play, uh, considering... Ooh, never mind, Sableye did not eat that well at all. I like that. And I get turns of Grassy Terrain as well. Beautiful, beautiful. And if he goes for Fake Out... Yeah, you stopped my outrage, but now Sableye is so low... Shedinja, I don't care about Shedinja. Shedinja's just gonna go for Baton Pass anyway. Shedinja's gonna go for Baton Pass here. I guess he could burn me, but I can't go out to anything that would... Basically, he can bring in his uh, Silent Toad if he wants to. Or doubles out immediately into Crobat. Great, 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 great. So this is a great turn for me, uh, because... I can actually opt to just Heat Wave here on the Silent Toad switch, and I'm gonna attempt to get some type of poison going off on this guy. Uh, or some type of burn going off on his spot as he actually has an eject button so nice He doesn't even have leftovers recovery, which means that we do beat him with Zapdos and this was a eject button I wonder if, Dutch, uh, if Toxpex is also a eject button That's interesting to me Sableye I'm sure takes the hit But he, if Sableye burns me it means he can't poison me and Sazento does not have any form of recovery nor does he have any wish support So Zapdos does win in the long run. I think He could have Toxic on, on Toxapex yeah, he goes Toxpex, so I'm assuming Toxic is coming out. We'll just go out into my top of Bulu right here. As he doubles out into Seismic Toad. Uh, this worked out for me, obviously. I guess he didn't even have that Toxic type of thing. But what I do want to do is just go for the SD here. If he goes Crobat, it doesn't matter. I get in my Zapdos. I'm trying to, like, force in Shedinja. Like, that's what I want to do. Anyway, I want to force in Shedinja. He could U-turn here, but would he make that play? Aggressive terrain is up. I don't even. He's not Z on Dougie, so I don't think he can knock me out. I don't want to go. Za I don't want to go. Um, he ran either and have him go Tox specs. I'd rather him double onto Seismic Toad predicting my Zap though. Oh, he just goes for Air Slash. Okay, I guess I should have known it was special since Super Sonic Sky Strike did crap, and I do get to get off a of Magma Storm here if he goes out into Shadin uh, Sableye. Plus, I get two turns of Grassy Terrain, which is really nice. And if he goes should, uh, Seismic Toad, I do guarantee get up rocks. Which is what I'm trying to do. Let's see if he's a Jack Button on this Mon. Can we? Can, can I land something, please? Can I please land something? That would be great. Like, I don't want him going Sableye on my, Megastorm, on my Magma Storm miss. Which I'm pretty sure he's going to do. But then he traps me with Dugtro, obviously, right? But getting rid of Sableye is just so good. It's such an annoying Mon. Yeah, so basically if I land that Magma Storm, um, we were in a great position, but uh, Sableye is going to go down, which will give me rocks later. Obviously, Dugtrio is going to come out. I guess his Crobat could be Defog, but we just go for Magma Storm here as he knocks me out. And now this can win the game very easily, but we're going to go Crobat or Garchomp first. I literally clicked Dark Pulse and win, so I'm fine. I'm going to get up my uh, rocks here. Don't think he'll stay in. I mean, if he does and he sub, it doesn't matter. I didn't 
my zap. Oh, I get in scissor and you turn and break it. So I'm just gonna attempt to get on my rocks here. I think that's my all around best play. Uh, he does opt to stay in. That's fine. Toxic's me, but I do get up rocks and he can knock me out. Uh, it's good to know that he has toxic as well. Greninja is faster. Also, not know knowing that he's not Scarf is really nice. So Crobat is definitely 100% defog, but Sableye being gone, he doesn't have good Zapdos switchings. Uh, he could definitely be defog here, but um, I'm assuming it is Sash Duck Trio as well. Yeah, this doesn't matter. I just click Heat Wave here. I don't let him poison me with Seismic Toad. And I uh, I go for like burns on him. Any any damage on Seismic Toad is great. Like regardless of what play he makes. Especially because I can go Bulu here and actually just go for Leech Seed. Like, actually go for Leech Seed. I love it. The fact that I'm burnt actually helps me in this situation, too. So we can get up rocks, but I'll, I'll get up rocks as well in a bit. And I will throw off a Leech Seed, just in case he makes the incorrect play of going out into, uh, into Shedinja first. I'm hoping he does go Shedinja, because then I also win. I mean, I, I know I can win this game, but he, he should go Crobat here. But I'm going for the uh, Leech Seed right now because I haven't shown it yet. He goes Toxapex first. That doesn't matter. That actually does not matter at all. Because it doesn't matter even if my Scizor gets burnt here um, by uh, that. I, I also I don't really want to attack him to be honest though. Even though yeah, he will go Crobat. I also don't want him to have Heat Wave. So I'm not going to stay in. I, I swear, I'm just going to click Dark Pulse with my Greninja and win this game, though. I swear, I will click Dark Pulse and win this game. And the fact that Crobat doesn't have any recovery is so nice for me, so... I'll make the... No, the Garchomp play isn't the right play. Zapdos is the right play, and still trying to burn the... Trying to burn Seismitoad is the play. I love how he has to go for pretty much the same thing, but... I go for Heat Wave here, trying to burn Seismitoad. Because once I, if I do burn Seismitoad, it can't come in anymore. I do get a crit. No burn, though. No burn. He should go for Toxic here. As he throws off a Scald. Actually, if he gets a burn on me, that's fine. Yeah, we'll get up our Young Rocks. Because then with Rocks up, I literally pressure him with Greninja. Greninja just gets to click Dark Pulse with Rocks up. And if he goes Crobat, he has to defog, where I get in Zapdos and I can discharge kill that. Basically, I put myself in a position where... Um, I'll put myself in a position where if he goes Crobat and defogs, Zapdos kills it. Or Shedinja can never come in, which is what I'm trying to do. That's I'm, I'm trying to position myself really well. Yeah, so that comes in, but I die to poison, and I get to go out into uh, my Zapdos and click discharge here. I click Discharge, I definitely don't Roost. He could go Dugtree, I suppose. That'd be a little bit annoying, but I get to U-turn out on Dougie after I go Scizor. Ideally though, he doesn't go Dugtrio, and <laughs> he stays in and defogs. Because I have, I have spikes on Gren as well, so I'm not as worried about Shininja. He makes a Seism Toad play, I'm just going to Roost. Uh, I'm assuming that he's just going to go for his Scald again. Hopefully he doesn't Toxic. I hope he goes for Scald. Please burn me. Please burn me so I can't be poisoned. Nice. So that's what we call a choke. And, uh, yeah, now he can't beat me 1v1. Because <laughs> I beat this. I also beat... I don't have pressure, obviously, but I'm Fizz Def, so I take every hit he wants to go for. Even Earthquakes. Ooh. That's doing some type of damage. But you actually can't beat this mon. Hmm, never mind. Maybe I shouldn't go for... I kind of wish I had... I'll go for HP Ice because it does a little bit more, obviously. Barely, though. I kind of wish I had pressure at this point. Because I'd be able to keep size until low. But Dark Pulse is looking very, very, very good. Dark Pulse is looking really good. But obviously me losing my Roost is bad, but like yeah, Dark Pulse is looking so nice versus him with Gren. I'm gonna go for another Heat Wave burn. I really wanna get this burn, because if I wear him down turn per turn, I can Roost. Come on, Heat Wave, do something. 
What is his last move? Is it rest? Is it toxic? What the hell is your last move? <laughs> hmm. Anyway, we're gonna go Scizor here and just U-turn. Because if he goes Crobat, uh, that should do enough for Greninja to be able to knock it out. And also if he stays in and Scald, unfortunately, hurts me. Uh, Bullet Punch is still good for... Basically, if he goes Toxapex, I'm good. Uh, U-turn does a ton to him. And I get in my... Uh, I get in my Zapdos, whereas Seismitoad is gone. And the fact that I'm Burt just is so good for me, man. And it is Rest. Okay, so last move, Rest. That's good to know. Well, no reason not to go Greninja and actually just start clicking Dark Pulse. Like, no actual reason to not go Greninja and click Dark Pulse here. That is... Mmm, I can lose this. No, 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 no. If I knock him out and he tries to kill me with Reversal Duck Trail by after defogging, I win the game with SD Bulu. Burnt SD Bulu can win. Yeah. So this is my play. This is my correct play. Seismic Toad also gives me... I don't understand why he made this play, because this gives me my battle bond. Why'd he do that? And that'll be, that makes sure that I'm faster than Crobat. And Toxapex loses to one flinch. And it is, it's red card, okay. Nice, it gives me Zapdos as well. I'll just discharge here. As he opts to stay in and sacks it, he tries to overpredict, predicts a roost. Nice. I get rid of Tox effects. Amazing. Seismitoad comes out. I just go Bulu. We double into Greninja here. Double into Greninja. And just click Dark Pulse and win. Nice, nice, nice. Nice! I fought for this game, man. Because I live a hit from Crobat. Oh, crap. Uh, Water Shuriken kills, correct? Because he got that recovery. That turn was actually really smart. Custom sets. Choice specs. Water Shuriken. I gotta make sure the Water Shuriken in two hits kills uh, Duck Trio. That's three hits. And that's zero defense? Nope, that's just two. That's 21 defense. Two hits. Damn. I need a good roll on this, please. Come on. Oh, nice. Never mind. He's zero. He's zero IVs. Nice. And I get my, uh, I get my, uh, my battle bond. So I literally destroy him now. Let's go. 20 minutes for this first game, man. Jesus Christ, man. Double into this. Yep, as he goes Zach those. And he can defog if he wants to. It doesn't matter. Uh, I literally click discharge here. And I win the game with Bulu clicking the Leech Seed once. Yep, and I die to burn as well. So this is a great turn. Doesn't give Sizen Toad anything. He doesn't get anything out of this turn. I win the game with Leech Seed Bulu. 60 turns gone. 60 turns, man. 60 turns. We did it, though. All I gotta do is hit one Leech Seed. I hate that I gotta say that, but literally all I gotta do is hit one Leech Seed and I win. The fact that we're SD Leech Seed Bulu is so good. Good game, man. I fought for that game, man. Come on, give me 10 points for that? 20 minutes in and you gave me 10 points for that game. That's all I got? That's definitely not what I wanted. I wanted some clean points, man. 20 minutes in and that's all I got. <laughs> so I'm number 29 on the ladder. <laughs> Man, I wanted some clean points for that. What happened? Well, I thought I was going to get like plus 30, get a nice little boost. Maybe it was really high on the ladder. Oh, well. Uh, Zapdos proving that it's so good versus everything. Uh, a few misplays on my part and as well as on my opponents. One, if I saw that, I was SD Lichy Bulu. 
Would have played totally differently and not let myself get burnt. I thought I did nothing because of Shedinja. Uh, two, my opponent uh, predicting me to roost and on the Zapdos versus Toxpix turn was key because I actually got rid of him immediately. I like he has red card and a check button. That was pretty cool though. Seeing both of those items used in the same game itself was really cool. Alright, so we got another game versus Ink Feather. How do we beat Magirna? Okay, so we gotta keep Scizor healthy. Uh, my Greninja can win. Greninja's actually really good versus him. Zapdos is just such a great lead, man. As static. Greninja, if it has Ice Beam, I'm in a bad situation. I'm actually gonna go directly into my Heat Ran. Just calc if it, see if it's uh, Scarf Ice Beam. As it looks like it's Spikes. Well, obviously. I'm Magma Storm here. This Mon doesn't actually do anything in this game at all. I hate when I miss and my opponent makes a play like that. I really don't like when I miss and my opponent makes a play like that. Like, I default on the majority of his team, but like, I really don't like when I miss and that stuff happens, bro. That's just not good, man. Actually, right here would be nice to miss, though, to be honest. This is the Gunk Shot set, isn't it? Yeah, right here would be really good to miss because my taunt's gonna wear off and then I can sub up or toxic something. I like, okay, that miss is okay. So yeah, that miss was good. That miss right there was good. But I don't like when I miss and those plays happen. He's going for the flinch too. He's so smart. That was such a smart play too. Like, you might have seen him just clicking his attack, but no, that, that play was to flinch me. That way he could taunt me after. Thankfully it didn't work and I could just toxic his uh, Zygar right here. Tapufini comes out. Not like I have an opposing play. She can play Magma Storm. Like I said, my hero doesn't do anything in this game. I don't care if he scalds me. I'll make sure he is trapped. Uh, in theory. I can't risk going directly into my Bulu, by the way, because of the fact that he can scald burn me. So I do have to Magma Storm again. Do I have this team? Lopany. 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 Opening. Nope. Why doesn't this attack hit like ever? <laughs> I'm not going Bulu just because of the fact that he could burn me. And I could defog later versus Magirna, so I'm just going to click Magma Storm one more time. He's wasting his Misty terrain, I don't care. Like, I will get rid of these T Spike. Oh, he's Calm Mind too, that's a little bit of a problem. Uh, you know, hitting would be so nice, man. He doesn't knock out Bulu. At plus three, he doesn't. I mean, this is an issue. Yeah, hell yeah it is. But as long as I default, I'll be good. Okay, so let me calc something. Heat ran. That has to be zero. That has to be zero uh, Feeny, right? Top of Feeny. Come on. I'm just gonna say Scald. Yeah, so plus two Moonblast to Top of Bulu, which does have HP, by the way. Top of Bulu, old Swords Dance, my set. 63, 75. He literally needs the highest roll to knock me out. Okay, so we're gonna go for that low roll right here shouldn't not uh, I'm, I'm praying he doesn't get the, the highest roll and that's with special attack investment by the way which he don't think he, I don't think he has why you say TT you mean to say thank you Landers comes out takes 10 million I'm gonna go right out to Zapdos I'm assuming he's Smackdown but I can't make a separate play anyway he just explodes <laughs> So he just throws away his landers. Nice, 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 nice. Um, Zygar can come out, but I can HP ice that thing twice. Magirna can come out, but I have Scizor, which can defog and put in a little bit of work as well. And if Lopany touches me, it can. I'll damage that. So I thought it would be Z Fly, but it's probably Z Magirna. His team is grounded, though. There's the Magirna. We're going to go hard Scizor here. The only thing is if he's like Calm Mind defensive, but Scizor beats for the most part. Oh, he is Calm Mind. Alright, so. Defog. I do beat Bolt Beam. 
to an extent, but like, I need a default first just for Bulu in the late game. And we'll just start clicking Bullet Punch here. We gotta do some damage. Because he's getting recovery, and this is an issue. Actually, we U-turn first. Yeah, because we U-turn directly out into Garchomp, which is faster than Shift Gear on the turn that Grassy Terrain does end. Yeah, I don't knock him out, unfortunately, but I do knock him out with this and, from, and Bullet Punch. So I'll take this. Wait, am I not faster than this? I am faster than this, aren't I? I'm not faster than this. What the hell? Am I not max speed Garchomp? I am I am I max speed Garchomp? I am max speed Garchomp. I'm just not faster. Jesus. Oh, I am faster. Okay, what the hell? What what was I scared about? Not the Ipapa. Oh, not the Papa. Damn it, not the Papa. All right, Scizor, you got to do some work. You actually have to. You actually have to crit, Scizor. I didn't realize the Papa was there. He's bulky. Shoot, man. Scizor actually has. I, I can still beat him with Water Shuriken after, but like, it's gonna be so tough. I have to what, get five Water Shuriken hits. Like actually five. To do anything, I need to get five right here. I'm about to lose my points. No, after that first game where I tried so hard for it. Ah, uh, McGinn is so annoying. I forgot that Scarf Garchomp isn't faster. I swear there was a Scarf that was faster than it usually. Two. Three. Ah, uh, so close! Why you play with my heart? Get out of here. No. <laughs> Alright, so let's see where we are in the ranking, because that's not good. Uh, I've probably lost a lot of points on that, too. Where's OU? What? Just an OU, 1921. Ew, man. It's less than when I start. That's way less than when I started. I lose so much for losing. Maybe I should. I probably should have heat waved it immediately with my um, with my Zapdos. I don't like the Magirna matchup. Like Heat Ran doesn't take on all out pummeling. Scissor doesn't take on Calm Mind. Garchomp isn't fast in it unless it's bulky, which they should be. To be honest, they should be bulky. I Papa was actually a pretty smart. Uh, option on this point. I think what I gotta do is start leading Greninja and get up my spikes, because I need some hazards versus these guys. Like, that guy had hazards up for way too long. Granted, if I hit with he ran, his Tapu Fini would be lower, which might have been better for Bulu, but... Also, another play I could have also made was, uh... I don't know, because he, he blew up on my Zapdos. I'm not sure what other play I could have made differently there. Alright, so we have the same team. That'd be fun. We both lose to Zapdos, that's fun. We actually both lose to Zapdos, that's amazing. Uh, so we leave Garchomp here. As we leave Zapdos, nice. And immediately what I want to do is just click Toxic. No. What? Immediately what I want to do is click Toxic. Like, no good Toxic switchings at all. I see if I was blunder. Hello, my name is. <laughs> it says my name right here. Like I understand if I was on Click Access. Okay, nice to meet you. Oh, me too, man. Did nothing. That actually did nothing. Uh, this mod is important for being. No, actually, it's not because I have my own mod. So I'm gonna sell up here. As he goes, Garchomp. And the great thing is, I know it's Scarf Garchomp, so I can put that thing on a timer as well. And if he sets up hazards, I don't care. He actually misplays if he sets up hazards here. So. Goes for Earthquake. Nice. I actually want to Earth Power here so badly. I'm going to do it. Because I think my own Zalos will come out right. I'm going to do it. You see, I, I know we have the exact same team. So I'm Earth Power here, expecting him to go, not Zapdos, but I thought he ran. But ended up going out to Zapdos, which is fine as well, because if I do land this Magma Storm, then... Uh, Zapdos being gone means my own Zapdos beats his entire team. <laughs> nice, and he lets me land on Nagastorm on him too. I, I love it, I love it. And he doesn't even paralyze me, beautiful. So what I actually want to do here is because my next, oh, my next Nagastorm actually does knock him out, and we land it too. Alright, so great. I get rid of his Zapdos really early. My Zapdos wall scissor, it beats Greninja, it beats his entire team for the most part. And I can safely go out into Bulu here on his Greninja and just go for Leech Seed if he goes for Hydro Pump. He has U-Turn on his variant, okay. So 
I don't have that on mine, but he does have a U-turn on his. Uh, this mod is more than likely going for U-turn of its own, and it'll probably go out to Heat Ran. But that does give me um, my own Heat Ran as a switch in anyway, and I get two turns. Basically, I get Grassy Terrain and Leftover, so I'm okay with this. Unless he made this super power. I like how he made it U-turn over Spikes, and I like how Spikes actually helped me in this game. So, yeah, route to Greninja he goes. Nice, give me a little bit of recovery right there. And if he goes for Hydro Pump, I bring in my Bulu, and I go for Leech Seed, and I get my recovery versus him. So, yeah, I don't... You can keep going for that all you want. My Heat Ran's getting... Slowly but surely, it's getting back more recovery. In fact, he should go out to his own Heat Ran right here. Which is sub-toxic, by the way. Yeah, good. Smart. So I don't want him Earth Power, and he's definitely going for sub here, but I'm just going to go for all that pummeling. Um, because I want to give him the illusion that I'm going to stay in. I definitely want to give him this illusion that I'm going to stay in. And uh, even if he subs up again, or goes for a fire move, Greninja doesn't have to be healthy to win this game. I basically just want him to go for Magma Storm here. As he goes for sub again. So good play. Good play, but Hydro Pump switch-ins. I mean, it's Bulu, obviously. Oh, come on, dude. Okay, he misses Magma Storm, so that's fine. That's fine. That's uh. Though I need my as many Hydro Punts as possible, uh, him missing Magma Storm is okay. Like my Zapdos beats Bulu, it beats Scarf Garchomp, especially because it's toxic. Yeah, nice. Nice, nice, nice. I want to make the Heat Ramp play so badly, but I'm just going to click Hydro Pump. Because I don't care about his Bulu when I have my own Zapdos in the back. Especially because I can gauge the damage and weaken Tapu Bulu to the point of my own Bulu beating him down. Hell yeah. So we'll go Zapdos here, uh, Scizor here and just U-turn. Uh, no matter what play he makes, I'm going to go for U-turn. As he goes for SD, which you do live. I can actually bullet punch if I wanted to, but because I do take all-out pummeling, I'll just U-turn anyway. Because all I need is damage. I know I take a plus two all-out pummeling. And all I need is damage on him for Zapdos to be able to knock him out. Or rather Greninja. I feel like I just want to risk my <laughs> Heat Ran right now. No, I'm actually not going to risk my Heat Ran. Uh, I'm just doing this to get two turns of recovery so I can come in on his. We'll sub up here. As he does go Garchomp, nice. And I'm actually going to lock in Garchomp as well in my Magma Storm, so that's great. And if he goes for Stealth Rock, oof, poor play. Yep. And we landed as well. So we're going to be able to get rid of this uh, this Scarf Garchomp really, really early. And I can de well, I can't really defog, but... Huh. Yep. We're able to get rid of the uh, Garchomp as well as... Um, as well as be behind a sub. And this thing beats Scizor, this thing beats Greninja. I want to talk to this guy. Especially because he has to hit that Hydro Pump. And we land it too. Ooh, I love landing. I can see him doubling out into uh, Heat Ran here. But I'm making the blue play anyway. Especially because I get off a of Leech Seed versus something. Yeah, especially because I get off a of Leech Seed versus something. Hell yeah, I'm making this blue play. And we Leech Seed on the incoming Scizor. And we land as well, which is great. So we get a little bit of recovery on this Mon, and I can actually afford to sack my own Garchomp here. Uh, excuse me, my own Scizor here, because I will die to his U-turn. And uh, basically, as long as I sack that Mon, he can't bring in Greninja and get... Um, basically get his uh, Battle Bond form. Which is obviously what I don't want. I think I want to go out into Garchomp here, and Outrage does knock out Greninja. He does have Bulu, obviously. I'm going to make the Stealth Rock play. He should go Bulu. Nine times out of ten, he'll go Bulu. Yep. So we get up Rocks there to pressure Greninja. He's going to double out into... He's going to double out into Heat Ran, and I really want to make the aggressive, bad play of making my own Heat Ran play and risk his speed tie right now. Oh, he actually goes for Stone Edge, predicting me. Um, to want to go out into, what's it called? To want to go out into, uh, 
Zapdos. So we're gonna sub here on his Greninja. And basically what we're trying to do is force this Greninja to go down to poison. Yeah, by going for sub again. Oh crap, not water shuriken. Nice, he didn't get enough. I forgot about that. That was my own bad. And I hate that I have to give him some recovery, but I'm actually going to make the Garchomp play right here. He doesn't get enough recovery to, or he doesn't get enough hits to actually knock me out. Yep. I think we just click Earthquake too, because Bulu should be 2 KO'd. And Scizor is going to take some massive damage too. I think, uh, actually I'm not sure if Bulu will be 2 KO'd, we'll see. But the important part is I get recovery, which means that Greninja is not the giant threat. And Zapdos is going to win this game in the long run, so this is what I'm going for. I love Heatran in this game because it forces so many things, but I'll sack it here. Because I can bring up my Zapdos. And I'm going to make an unnecessary double because I put myself in a position to actually make an unnecessary double. And I'm going to make the Greninja play. And it looks like, did he stay in? Please don't tell me he stayed in Click Stone Edge. You do have to make the Heat Ram play. Nice, he made the Heat Ram play. Uh, so we get in our Choice Specs Greninja, and we're going to force the Battle Bond. Because we do 2 AKO, Scizor, we beat Bulu, we kill Greninja. Come on, let me get this 2 AKO. Ah, don't even have to risk hitting the second one, nice. So, we get the Battle Bond, and I think we just win. Assuming that I connect all my Hydro Pumps, we do just win. So this is the mod I actually have to hit the most, because after that, I Earthquake Sweep him. Nice! So now I Earthquake Sweep him slash Water Shuriken Sweep him. Especially because Grassy Terrain is gone. Greninja comes out. Uh, water Shuriken is the only play my opponent can make. I just hit my Hydro Pump. Nice. And uh, yeah, all I got to do is... Sack Zapdos uh, because I can Water Shuriken into Earthquake and win this game. He can sell up all he wants. He doesn't knock me out, and I do break his sub. And I'm faster too, which is nice. And Magma Storm is such a garbage move, man. I hate this move. I actually do. I don't know why it's so... Like, they weakened it, and its accuracy is terrible. So we're 1932. One more time. Let's keep going. I'm trying my best, guys. I'm trying my best to come through in this game. I do like the team. I'm just not getting any points from my games. And I did obviously lose that one game, which pinned me back all the way man all the way and I don't like that man why do we get a mirror matchup did blender post this team I mean I know he did a live with it I know he did a live with it but I don't know hey I've been doing that on twitch lately I've been uh, after I finished reading we raid somebody and then do a nice little vodcast for people that missed the stream. That's pretty clean. I think it's fun. Like you get to see the stream if you missed it. You get to play. Uh, though in the, today's vodcast uh, or yesterday's vodcast rather, um, isn't this guy like really high on the ladder? Tame flame. Let me see where he is. Ladder. Oh, Talent Owen was the dude's name. All right, something in Sash Excadrill lead. Uh, I want to lead off with Scizor to just a U-turn on that extra girl. He leads Landorus. Uh, either way, I do want to U-turn here. How do I win this game? Zapdos puts in a lot of work. Goes for knockoff immediately, which leads me to believe that he may indeed be uh, an interesting player. Uh, but uh, he could be Zebulu. I don't want to risk that. Though he doesn't have any switch into this mod, I don't want to risk that. So I'm actually going to go out into my Zapdos just in case he's Super Sonic Sky Strike. Scout for that. Yep. Tank that hit. Relatively well. Obviously he can knock me off if he wants to. But now he has to fly if he wants to do anything else. So we'll go back out into Bulu. Oh, come on. What is this set? Knock off Toxic. Now he's going to fly. Alright, so Bulu's being toxic is annoying, but uh, obviously Bulu being toxic is annoying, but I avoid, um, Zapdos is so good versus him because it beats Pinsir down, beats a lot of his team down actually, so 
We're gonna go out into our Greninja here, and assuming my opponent decides that Tox Specs is a smart play, we're going to go for a spike. Yeah, my I I, I figured this would be my, that type of opponent. The guy that just stays in and doesn't care, and it's obviously working out for my opponent. So can I still win with Earthquake Spin? Yeah, I can win with Earthquake Spin, which is why I don't understand why he made that play. So HP Ice here, which we are faster than him. Barely messed out on the KO though, that's nice. He barely missed out on the KO. We'll go for Heat Wave just in case he tries to make the extra drill play as he goes Toxapex. Why? Tox Spikes don't do anything versus me. I'm just gonna Heat Wave again because it knocks out Landers. Like Earthquake has a potential to sweep him, so and I don't want him going extra drill. He goes Lele on the potential discharge. All right, he's in range of Earthquake now. Like like players like this, like I don't know what to do. I gotta go Bulu first, um, unfortunately, mainly because, yeah, I'll, I'm weak to Greninja, I'm weak as hell to Greninja, but if he specs, man, I couldn't risk going out into Heatran first, and doubles out to Pinter. Uh, the great thing is, Pinter does not kill me, unless it's close, actually close combat does not kill me because of grass terrain. I can knock him out, I'm hoping I land this, even if he goes Tox Effects or Lele, that'd be great to land, please, please. Nice, and that is Assault Vest as hell, oh my god, that boy is straight up AV. Mm. Mm -hmm. What a turn, he missed Magnum Storm, he hits his 70%, that's fine. I mean I did get, no the crit didn't even matter, I 2 KO'd him. Alright, so we get rid of Lele at least, so no more Psychic Terrain, but now obviously Pinsir can come out and kind of destroy me. It can anyway. We'll go hard Zapdos on his uh, Earthquake. He actually SD'd. I hope I get static. I hope I get the static on this guy. That... Mm, I don't even know if he went off the miss or what he was doing there. Obviously it worked out again, but I really don't know if he went off the miss or like what exactly he was doing there. This guy's crazy. He's the type of player that just stays in with everything and doesn't care. And it works out for him. It actually works out for him. Can I still win this? Is there any potential here? Maybe. Yeah. Nope. I need a crit. <sighs> nope. Yeah, I lost this game. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting on tilt. Next time I see a player like that. Oh my god, this is what happens, man. Road to top 10, 1902. And we're going to get a Celesteela user who's going to take me 50 years to beat. <laughs> oh man, I'm going on such tilt. I don't like this. Okay, I don't really give a damn. Like, do what you want. Ignore spectators, just play. Um, Scissor's very good as a lead. Uh, top of Coco is probably likely my opponent's lead of choice. I'm lead off a Garchomp. Matches up well versus him. If he leaves off, if he goes Gardevoir, I'm gonna go directly into Heat Ram because he does have Ductra, Dahlia's Focus Blast, Pyre's Will O Wisp. Uh, Garchomp gives me a really good lead matchup immediately versus Tapu Koko, which is something I would lead off with versus me. Yes. So much quick Earthquake here. Even if he switches out to Celesteela, it is the correct play. And uh, he doesn't do very well versus Zapdos, which is gonna be my immediate switching always. Zapdos always. Not Heat Ram. Because I can't have him doubling into Dugtrio. As he goes Gardevoir, very, very, very solid play on my opponent's part. Now, I'm going to discharge because I'm going for para. At this point, I have to. This, this mod is a threat. I want to paralyze it. I can always come back in later. Ah, nice. The time I go for hacks, I don't get it. No. You already know I'm getting tilted when I'm going for plays like that. So I'm going to evolve and click Bullet Punch immediately. As he goes Celestilla. Um, hopefully we see leftovers, that way I think he's defensive. Yeah. This could be offensive, fire blast. I gotta risk it. Bleach is an option, flamethrower is an option. We're gonna go heat ramp, and um... On seeds. And... I don't, he could protect right here. I'm gonna make the, uh, the safe Zapdos play because it does give me a roost. Assuming he doesn't go directly into Gardevoir or like Lottie or something like that, yeah. And Lottie comes out, so this does give me Scizor as another switch in. I guess he could be HP 5. There's so many options here because he does have Gardevoir. Like his team composition could be any, like he could really be using anything. 
Shout out to Draco though, so we do live that. Uh, this is Soul Dew by the looks of it, or Scarf. I'll just roost up. Give me a nice little full HP Scizor versus him. And we can just U-turn once again. I want to go Bulu and double into Zapdos. It's a little bit aggressive and unnecessary, especially because Bulu actually does really well versus him. But I, I need—I feel like I need to make some type of play to get back in the game, especially because, like, <laughs> I didn't get the discharge pair early on. So, right back out into Zapdos we go. As he goes for Heavy Slam, let's see if we can get some para action. No, Static? Why, why do I even have this ability? I'm, I'm, static is garbage. It doesn't work for me, but it works against me. <laughs> hey, straight up, though. Uh, but... At least we get Zapdos back to a respectable amount of HP, uh, though Gardevoir obviously comes out, and I don't want him doubling. I'm going Heat Ren, regardless of what play my opponent makes. Because I do live a Hyper Voice, and I get two turns of recovery. And because Grassy Terrain is up, I don't think he can go Dark Trio, so he's probably going to go Garchomp here. I'm a Toxic on the Garchomp play. Or Lottie, that works too. Yeah, getting Lottie with that, and pretty much getting my uh, Heat Ren back up to full beautiful so I don't know why he made this play because I can sub up and he spec surf so I do have to be careful now because I actually have to try and get my heat ram back up to full Lottie would surf wow I've not seen that ever typically it's Latios you see I don't want to land that anyway I don't want any residual damage racking up on Lottie that'd be too much to ask for uh, I don't see a problem though with going Bulu and just leech seeding Seeing as how as he goes sell a steal, I get recovery. Plus, I live every hit this mon this Lottie wants to go for. Um, Gar Top of Bulu is actually very good versus my opponent's team, if you guys haven't noticed. Uh, he has one Pokemon that can deal with it, and it is Celesteela. Hmm. That's fine. Didn't want to hit that. We'll go Heeran. Because even though he will Leech Seed, I'll get a little bit of recovery back anyway. And I think I will. Actually, I'll be at the exact same amount of HP, won't I? Yep. And we can just double out into Scizor here, because if he goes for the Lottie play, I do get back up to full. He goes Garchomp, I get in. Yeah, Lottie basically getting back up to full. I guess he could be HP Fire, but Scizor can more than likely tank one from a Lottie, and U-Turn just gives me so much momentum. So, and we get in Heat Rain on the last turn of the, uh, the Grassy Terrain, which is what I want. Uh, because I do get that, just that precious recovery, especially because I let my Heat Rain take a Surf. So, this is how you play to get Tran back in. And we go right back out on the Bulu on the Lottie play. That like Lottie play he should make, rather. Or Garchomp. He's really, like, adamant about bringing in Lottie. Uh, I don't want him... He can't trick me, obviously, but... Um, as much as I want to go Heat Rain, I don't want him Psy Shocking. I'll make the Heat Rain play anyway. Yeah, as he goes Celesteela, nice. So we get them two turns of recovery, and I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to knock out Lottie right here. I actually want to go for Toxic because I want extra turns of recovery. I know what he's trying to do. He's trying to force me to, or he's trying to knock me out. That way, um, Duckshow can trap me. Obviously, but as you see, I get Hit Rim back up to uh, 71%. And we can go right out into my uh, Sizzle right here. As he goes, Garchomp. Smart, finally getting up some type of rock, some type of anything going on. But I will just go Greninja and just click Hydro Pump. As much as Greninja wins, like I have to hit Hydro Pump to win anyway. And if he's going for Stealth Rock, he probably doesn't have, doesn't have an attack to knock me out anyway. So we can go for Hydro Pump here. It's Specs. It's going to do a lot to even Celesteela. Even if it's Spadef, it'll do like 40%. Yep. 48. And I'm just going to land two. Screw it. I don't even care. I'm just going to land three. I'm going to land four. I'm going to land five if I have to. I'll land every single Hydro Pump this game. I will land every single Hydro Pump. In fact, I'm going Bulu right here and just all out pummeling this thing. Let's get this Mon. <laughs> I'm just going to all out pummeling right now. Uh, though he is physically defensive, he might actually live this, but nope. We get rid of Celestilla, and Tapu Bulu has been freed up in this game. Gardevoir comes out. You do not knock me out. There is just no way. I don't know what he doubled into, but it's dying. Well, except Tapu Kogo. It's not dying. I lied. Yum! It actually ate. This is Z Top of Coco. This is Z Guardian of Alola. Or, yeah, Mitch Matters, basically, yes. Yum! 
I Papa? Father? No. And he missed. Nice. Yum! Yo, Bullet Punch is looking so clean versus this guy. I don't even need my heat rain anymore. That's amazing. I actually just want Roxa, to be honest. It doesn't matter what play he makes here. Um, I knock him out. And, like, look at Bullet Punch. Gardevoir gets knocked out. Latias goes down. Duxure goes down. I just get to click Dark Pulse as well. Gardevoir comes out, as it should. We're gonna go Heat Ran. I'm gonna keep this mon alive, that way he can't click out uh, Earthquake with his Garchomp, though I guess, in theory, it doesn't really work that way. Oh, Electric Terrain Thunderbolt. That's really cool. Click Magma Storm here. He's psychic. Knocks me out. Alright, so he's psychic to knock me out, but Scissor's Bullet Punch should do the job. Electric Terrain Thunderbolt. That's really cool. But Scissor's Bullet Punch should do the job. And if he goes Garchomp, it takes the necessary damage that I need it to take for, um... Sorry, I forgot my trench clock. It takes the necessary damage that I needed to take for my uh, for my Zapdos. And we'll actually go Bulu here, even if he doubles out into Gardevoir. Very good play on my opponent's part, by the way. Very good play on my opponent's part. I'm just going to risk my scissor. I don't care. I'm going to eat this anyway. I am eating this up. And we're roosting because we're men. Go ahead and give me all this recovery on my scissor, boy. Go ahead. Go ahead and give me all this recovery on my scissor. Getting it again. Get it? Back and full? Because we don't care. I'm sorry. I'm losing my mind, aren't I? <laughs> I probably am. So go Zapdos here. Uh, mainly because if Gardevoir wants to come out, it'll take a heavy hit. He does have the Fire Blast. Okay. That's cool. Uh, Gardevoir will take a heavy hit from, not heavy hit, but it'll take a decent hit from Discharge. If he outrages, then I go out to my Bulu and Revenge kill him. So we go for Discharge here, expecting him to want to go out to Garchomp, or Gardevoir rather. Uh, and Gardevoir, with the chance of para uh, paralyzing it, and also the fact that now it's in range of Hydro Pump, you know, it's it's looking okay for me. It's looking okay for me, especially because Earthquake knocks him out as well. So... I think we're just going to go Scissor and U-Turn. Like, I want some chip on Garchomp. I want some chip on Garchomp for, uh... You guys think it's Scarf... Spire... Fire move? I don't know. I actually don't know. Like, Bulu... Like, he can't click Outrage here, so I put him in a position where I can go out into Greninja and just click Hydro Pump now. So... Uh, we'll go Greninja. We get our recovery. Inspects Hydro Pump. Should be able to knock him out. I guess he could have clicked Outrage, but like, predicting me maybe, I don't know. Yeah, he got Grass Terrain first, so he has Scarf Garchomp. Okay, that's good to know. So Hydro Pump gets a kill, assuming it connects, as we do on the Greninja, which will allow me to knock out the, uh, this will allow me to knock out the uh, Gardevoir and Garchomp as well. Garchomp actually has to go for Outrage to knock me out. Gardevoir dies. I don't know why he went to Gardevoir. He's probably trying to force it, but I don't care. I'm clicking it. <laughs> I'm a man. This is why I have this on my team. And now I click Outrage and win with my Scarf Garchomp. Goes Dougie. I can't switch anyway. Earthquake doesn't knock me out because of Grass Terrain. I lied. But it doesn't matter because I put him in position for me to win with Outrage. Because he is Scarf Garchomp. And I get to go for Outrage here. I knock out Dugshire, which is confirmed, not Focus Sash. And if he goes for Outrage to Revenge Kill me, then I knock him out with Bulu. 1918, man. Terrible, man. We're doing terrible. Let's get another one. This is the road to getting my point. Blunder said, hey, man, use this team. I went undefeated with it. Yeah? I want to know what you were playing. <laughs> I want to know what you were playing, bro. Because I'm playing these knockoff toxic staying with Landers, dodging Magma Storm, staying with Tapu Lele, staying with Pinsir to set up versus Heat Ran type of players, bro. And it's not working out for me. <laughs> it's definitely not working out for me. I was just asking Gator if his episode uploaded so I could render this both at the same time. Uh, but it's definitely not working out for me, unfortunately. And we're taking a lot more L's than I wanted to uh, this episode. It, this usually happens, though, when I get close to the ladder. I have to find a team that I really like. And we're 54-8. and eight. Ew. Not what I want it to be. But this typically happens when I get to the, uh, the higher portion of the ladder. And everything starts to get to me. But I'll build a team with my boy NJMP. I did talk about potentially featuring Stahl as well on Twitter, and I feel like it's smart to do, 
because I want to show that stall is not brainless. You do have to predict. You do have to play well. Like my opponent misplayed a turn in game one when he definitely could have won. I misplayed twice, I think, too. But like stall, you have to, you have to play well if you want to always win it. In any way, in my opinion, anyway. My oh boy, Etika is streaming. Ooh. I just want a game. I just want one game. Give me a game that I win, that I fight hard for my win, that I play well, and uh... yeah, really cool team on my opponent's part. All right, so let's uh, let's mod join this and. I need rocks up Prano. A dragon, I haven't seen a dragon in a while. Scarf Garchomp's really good in this late game. Uh, Greninja's a giant threat. If he leads off a Magma Zone immediately, my Scizor is not faster. I'm gonna leave Scizor and hope he doesn't need Magma Zone because Magma Zone doesn't max up too well versus my team. He actually leads Greninja, which I don't think is Protean. I think it's Battle Bond based on his team. That's because he's so weak to. Uh, He's so weak to Volcarona, so this should be Scarf. Yeah. Nice. So we hit Landers. Beautiful. Uh, Zapdos beats a lot of his team, if not all of it. And we find out he's Rocky Helmet, which means he can't beat Zapdos. But I do want to know. I do want to go Greninja first and just start firing off Hydro Pumps just to weaken the Feeny, which is going to be his initial switching. Yep. I could have went Zapdos there, but I did want to weaken the Tapu Fini. And uh, I actually want to trap it, to be honest. I think that's the play. I'm going to go uh, Heat Ran and just trap it. Like, he doubles out into B Drill. So, this is decent. Uh, drill Run is obviously an option that my opponent could have. I'm going to double out to my Zapdos. Knockoff is also an option, but I'm assuming he's just going to Mega Evolve and U Turn or Drill Run. Uh, because of Misty Terrain, yeah, nice. So he does not have good switches to this at all. I just click Heat Wave here. Because of Misty Terrain, he obviously cannot be uh, paralyzed. Uh, static has not worked one for me, but he doesn't have good switches to this mod at all. Magnezone comes out. Never mind, when you dodge Thunderbolt, I guess you do have good switches. Hmm. Nice. I'm just going to roost here. That way his Thunderbolt does less to me. As he actually goes for Flash Cannon. All right, so that's fine. Um... When you dodge a heat wave, rather, we'll go for another heat wave. It is an assault vest Magna Zone, but I would have been able to 2 it KO, which would have been the big thing, obviously. Uh, but him being so weakened is good for my. Well, that's Greninja. But him being so weakened is really good for my. Um, I want to say my Zapdos for later, as well as my Bulu. This is a, just a tough turn for me, though. I think he's Protean or Scarf. But the way he switched turn one. I'm leaning more towards Protean. I mean, I'm leaning more towards uh, Battle Bond. So I'm going to go Bulu here. I'm hoping I don't regret it on an Ice Beam. Please don't Ice Beam me, bro. Yeah, it's Protean Ice Beam. Damn it. Okay, so it's Scarf Protean Ice Beam, by the way. Uh, so we go Scizor and just U-turn immediately. Okay, so I, I was... Wait, if that's the case, why didn't you... Why did he hard switch instead of U-turning? I guess he didn't want to give me the information. Okay, so that makes sense. He didn't want to give me that info. I get in Zapdos though, and in theory, I get off an HP Ice here. I do need Rocks up. Pronto versus him. I'm just gonna HP Ice immediately. I love when they stay in. Just to do that. And I can just Heat Wave in the following turn in case he goes out into Magna Zone. Also knocks him out. Uh, Thankfully, I landed, so now I just get to click Discharge, so that's nice. That's amazing. Um, I also live at a hit from every Pokemon on his team outside of this Mon. This can definitely go for Ice Beam. I'm going to go directly into my Heat Ran and just Magma Storm immediately. He goes for HP Fire, so he even boosts my Magma Storm, which is pretty cool. And uh, I'm not sure if... I'm not sure what his initial switching is going to be. I mean, I'm going for Magma Storm anyway. Scarf HP Fire, interesting. Yeah, hey, why didn't you go for that first? What the hell? Why didn't you... Nice, and he goes Feeny. So this is boosted, and I will be able to beat Feeny 1v1. I'm gonna sub up too. See what happens here. 
He does have Surf. Okay. So, because he does have Surf... I mean, I ate one, so I think I'm just going to Earth Power and proceed to try and 2 KO this Feeny, assuming I don't get crit here. Nice. Uh, crit looks like it might not have been able to kill me. And we're going to be able to get rid of Tapu Feeny, which is great. I'll be able to U-turn out. It's the Dragonite that's the biggest threat to me, I feel. But I could Toxic that thing. I could put it on a timer. Also, Greninja probably doesn't have a water move. Yeah, Beedrill comes out. I'm going to Magma Storm. I don't want, I don't want to go Zapdos and have him uh, Poison Jab me. I'll sack this. It doesn't beat any of the Mons on his team. And if he does go for Poison Jab or U-turn, I get a kill. So, he looks like he's thinking about He's definitely going to go for Drill Run. But if he does make the play, I'm in a good position. Plus his entire team is ground- Well, his entire team isn't grounded, but it's weak to Outrage. Especially if I stall out the Misty Terrain, which I will. And I'll be able to get up my rocks with my uh, Garchomp next, so. It yeah, goes right for Drill Run. Uh, I'll be able to go out to Garchomp. And I don't need HP on this mod, I need rocks for Dragonite. So get up our rocks first. For that D-Knight. Yep. Takes a little bit of chip. Nice little chip. Dragonite comes out. Uh, Zapdos is the Pokemon that prevents this thing from setting up multiple DDs. Mm -hmm. Extreme speeds, which does not knock me out. And I can knock him out with HP Ice and the Bullet Punch, which is the part that I wanted the most. And I believe I win with... Yeah, because Zone comes out next. I bullet punch you. I don't know why I exchange speed it, but I bullet I bullet punch you. Uh, knock out Dragonite. I didn't realize I got static finally, like for the first time ever. Greninja comes out and has to go for what? HP Fire here? I just get a kill with Hydro Pump too. Like I actually get a kill with Hydro Pump here. Assuming we connect. I'm hoping we connect. Damn, man. That's bad. Yeah, because he can win with late game HP Fire Sweep. I needed to connect with that. I have to go for it again, too. Oh, great. We get the kill. Okay, good. So I wasn't expecting to be able to knock out Magnazone there, but basically, if he Ice Beams, I win. Uh, he has to go Beedrill here. Poison Jab slash U turn. I think he's gonna go for the. Uh, I think he has to go for U-turn here. Yeah, so we make Beedrill take the damage. And I think all I have to do to win this game is go Greninja, click Water Shuriken into Bullet Punch, and I think I, I think that combination wins. Especially because I don't think he knocks me out with anything. I I think I don't know. That's gonna be close. Oh, he goes for Dunk Shot, too. So because he's Scarf... Um... What?! He wasn't Scarf this entire time?! Are you kidding me?! Oh my god! He really wasn't Scarf this entire time! Are you actually kidding? He was Belt, man! Grenade just broken! Oh my god! I BP'd in one there, then! What the hell?! I roosted just in case bullet punch. Okay, what I should have done there, because that was my bad. What I should have done was actually calc how much Scizor did. The ninja. I thought it was like the choice card HP fire that blew Jam Bat away. 22 to 26. So we knocked him out either way. Okay, so bullet punch. That was my fault I lost. Bullet Punch literally won the game, and I got impatient and didn't calc. I literally won the game by clicking Bullet Punch there. I went for Roost because I thought, okay, Scarf HP Fire cannot knock me out. Actually, wow. Scarf HP Fire would be able to knock me out anyway. Yeah, I just choked away that game. I'm so mad at myself. That's so bad. Like, I actually choked away that game. I didn't realize how strong Bullet Punch was versus regular Greninja. I should have calced instead of trying to go off my head. And that's where I messed up, so... I'm on tilt once again at the end of an episode. We're at 1884, and that is just completely my fault. 
Damn, man. I really thought he was Scarf the entire game. Why do we just have teams that just lose to Volcarona? Then again, I guess nobody's been using Volcarona. Though it's such a giant threat, man. I gotta use that mod next. Alright, well, uh, definitely a lot of salt in this live. I definitely got mad. Uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed, though. Um, yeah, I'm at 1884. I'll probably do a stall episode. Not because it's free points. Like, I give a damn about free points. Um, but I talked about it on Twitter. And basically, like, I don't... Let me see if I can find the post itself. I was going to do it as a filler episode, though. Like, like, a really short episode. Maybe that's not possible. But I talked about it. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Let's see if I can find it. Because I do want to find it because it was important. It's relevant to what I'm talking about now. We'll see, though. Maybe I can make a fun stall with NGMP. I don't know. People see stall and be like, oh, my God. Oh, this is my elbow schedule, by the way. Every day. And my screen schedule. Not every day. You can put a space in between, but it's an adjective. You know, describing my elbow schedule. So, you know. Where is it? Final Fantasy. Blah, blah, blah. I'm trying to find it for you guys. Okay, man, I want to install in the road top 10 to prove that it isn't brain dead. You do have to think and make plays just like every team, which is very true depending on matches, how the opponent is playing, aggressive, you know, quotation, or parentheses. But I know people will complain that stall is lame, just using it for easy plays. I'm like 45 and 5 in the road top 10, like I care about easy points. I just want to show all play styles. I show hyper offense and plenty of balance with bulky offense. Part of playing well versus team, in my opinion, is understanding that team. If it is known, of course, like if you know, uh, if you know that sticky web team that was running around, a lot of ways you can beat it is you actually know what it does and knowing how to break it down. I also want to show that Stall will rarely lose in the hands of a good player. Some people might find it boring, which I don't understand. It's like I intend to click recover, soft blow, wish protect all vid. If you saw me use Stall in the Oris, oh, you wrote to top ten. You know that at some point I had to play aggro and predict my opponent to win. And anyways, I ended up doing what I want. Guess we shall see. And then I said, unfortunately, I use the team I use today is so anti Stall that it makes using Stall that much harder. And yeah, if you have a problem with stall, when a random trap is inevitably a uh, suspect tested volts are banned, stall still good, but Dougie key. Yeah. And those are my thoughts on that. I'll see though. Because I do love me some nice eject button. I, I was using, I love Diglett stall. Freaking Doug Shrill. Diglett stall in the future. But uh, yeah, I, I got tilted. Man. This is why I calc. People say, oh man, Joe, you calc someone. This is why you calc. I won that game 100%. If I calc. I sell a bullet punch kill, I click bullet punch, and I bullet punch Beedrill. Beedrill dies, if you guys didn't know. I'll show you Beedrill. Beedrill, Beedrill ain't living crap. Boy, taking 68% from an uninvested BB. That's sad. <laughs> anyway, I uh, hope you guys all enjoyed a little bit of salt this episode. And, uh, yeah, we're back down. I mean, I mean, that just means that more road top 10s. So, I guess it's cool. Blunder's right here. Uh, that just means more road top 10s in OU. Uh, which is cool because that means I get to build some teams. I'm actually planning on building a team with NJMP, which would be really fun. But yeah, of course, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, do your thing. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, friends.